Hello friends, welcome to a new video on PyTest Python Automation Framework Interview Questions. So in this video, let's talk about some of the interview questions related to PyTest Automation Framework. So let's move to the first question. First question is, how to run a specific method before each test method in a class using fixture? So we want to run a particular method, a specific method before running each test method in that particular class, right? I have written two test method here uh, in test class, test method 1 and test method 2 and we have uh, one print statement in each test method, method 1 is called and method 2 is called. Let's uh, run this particular file. So we can use pytest command, pytest minus v minus s and we can give the file path. So both the test methods are passed, we got the print statements uh, in the output. Now our uh, aim is to create the fixture which has to be run before each test method that means test method 1 and test method 2. So let's define a fixture at the rate pytest.fixture and then we can create a test fixture. I have created a my fixture and let me provide some print statement my fixture is called now the important part comes so we know uh, in fixture we can pass many arguments right so one of the argument that we can pass is scope parameter so scope is equal to we can define many values for scope so let's say if we can define scope is equal to function that means that fixture will be specific to each function that means it will be called before each function and when you set auto uses equal to true then it will be called automatically before each function before each test method right let me run this file so you will get more idea so you can see in the output so first my fixture is called then test method 1 is called then again my fixture is called and method 2 is called and these fixtures are called automatically right now let me remove this co-parameter from the fixture and let's see what will be the output. So I have removed fixture but still we can see my fixture is called twice before each test method, method 1 and method 2. That means if you don't define any scope parameter by default scope parameter will be equal to function, scope is equal to function. Let's move to next question. So next question is how to run a specific method before all the test methods in a class using fixture. So the difference between first question and second question is in first question we want to run the fixture before each test method in the class. Second question we want to run the fixture before all the test method that means we want to run only once but before all the test method. So we just have to change the scope parameter so instead of scope is equal to function you can provide scope is equal to class that means it will be called only once but before running all the test method in the class so you can see the result my fixture is called before method 1 and method 2 right so my fixture is called then method 1 is called then method 2 is called so if you want to run a particular method a particular fixture only once before running the class file then you can use scope is equal to class now let's move to our next question how to run a specific method before all the classes using fixture so we want to run the fixture before all the classes so let's say we have multiple cl test class files in our suite so let me create a my first test class class test one and let's define some of the test methods test method one and test method two now let us create one more test class file test class 2 and let's define test method 4 test method 5 we can remove the third method so test class 2 contains two test method and test class 1 contains one test method and now uh, let us define a conf test file 
so we know conf test file is to define all the fixtures in a test suite right so i have created a conf test file where the test class files are located right and let me define the fi fixture my py test dot fixture and let me define my fixture and we can define one print statement conf test fixture is called and now here comes the scope parameter so we need to define scope is equal to session so when you say scope is equal to session it will be run only once for the entire session right so that fixture will be called only once so you can see the result conf test fixture is called only once after that method 1 is called method 2 is called method 3 is called method 4 is called and finally method 5 is called you can also achieve this by giving scope parameters module if you want to run the fixture for all the test class files in a particular module or folder so our next question is how to execute a fixture automatically on running any file so we have already seen that by putting auto uses equal to true right uh, but what if i put auto uses equal to false so let's see that with this example i have modified this test class file and let me also comment out uh, the contest file now let us run so here we have not used the auto use parameter right so only test methods will be called you can see only test methods are called that means auto uses equal to false by default now we can provide auto uses equal to true we will get fixture call statement before each test method our next question how to use dependency in pytest so how we can achieve dependency so what is dependency so let's say if test method 1 is dependent on test method 2 then test method 1 will be run only after test method 2 is passed in case if test method 2 is fail then test method 1 will be skipped that is how the dependency works right so we have already made a separate video on pytest dependency feature so we can achieve this using pytest uh, dependency marker so if you would like to watch uh, i have provided the link in the description please have a look so we will go to our next question what is a finalizer and how to use it inside a fixture so we will use or we will go with the finalizer when we want to run a piece of code at the end of the test method so here what we will do inside the fixture we will define an inner method or in an inner function and we will make it works like a finalizer so let me define a method diff tear down so method name can be anything okay so i just define tear down and let me provide a print statement in that uh, tear down print of tear down method is called now we can add one argument in the fixture which is a request and now we can add one liner request dot add finalizer of and we can pass this method name tear down then it will work as a finalizer now let us run this file and let's see So you can see test method 1 my fixture is called this method 1 is called then tear down method is called then after printing my fixture method 2 again tear down method is called now we will change it to scope is equal to class then what will be the result tear down method will be called only once after running all the test methods so you can see method 1 is called then method 2 is called only after that tear down method is called our next question how to call fixture from a test method 
so far we have seen only running the fixtures uh, automatically right so what if we want to run the fixture only for test method 1 and if we don't want to run it for test method 2 then how to achieve that for that what you can do you can pass the fixture name as the argument of the test method so I have modified this uh, test class file a little bit I have removed the finalizer now what I will do I am passing the fixture name as the argument of test method 1 so that it will be called only for test method 1 so you can see that fixture is called only for method 1 and method 2 is called without my fixture now what if I add my fixture for test method 2 as well so it will be called for both the fixture right but what is the output my fixture is called still only for method 1 and it is not there for method 2 that means it is run only once before the class the reason is we have defined scope is equal to class so if you want to run it separately you need to change it to scope is equal to function or you can remove the entire scope parameter by default the uh, scope parameter is set as uh, function right so in this case we can see my fixture is called twice before each test method we can also return some specific values from fixture so you can use return statement so let me return uh, hello fixture and how to print that in the test method so this my fixture argument will hold that uh, returned value so you can directly use that uh, my fixture name print of my fixture In the result you can see my fixture is called method one is called and then the returned value is called hello fixture right similarly for uh, test method two hello fixture is called our next question how to use fixture inside another fixture so let us define one more fixture and in the first fixture i just defined or i'm returning the value hello and in my fixture one i'm returning the value fixture and what i'm planning to do i want to combine these two fixture and i want to return hello fixture for that i need to call one fixture inside another fixture right so how we can call just like we did before we can use the fixture name as the argument so inside my fixture one i have used my fixture as the argument let's run the file now so we can see the same result hello fixture is printed for each test method that means we combined two fixtures we called one fixture another inside another fixture right let's go to our next question how to run the same test method for multiple set of test data or we can also say how we can achieve parameterization in pytest automation framework so we can achieve this using parameterize uh, marker pytest.mark.parameterize of let me define one key uh, geometry you can give any name and for uh, the key geometry i am defining some values test 1 test 2 and test 3 that means i want to uh, repeat this test for these values test 1 test 2 and test 3 and now let's define the test method so when you define the test method you can pass this key name which is geometry inside the test method 1 as the argument now let's print out this geometry value you can print it like this geometry called this you can use start format and you can pass geometry now let us run this file see test method one is called for each parameter which is test one test test two and test three and we can see the same values are printed in the uh, result as well right so in this way you can achieve the parameterization right you just have to pass the key value uh, so that's all about uh, the session uh, interview questions so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video 
so uh, if it is useful please provide your feedback in the comment section and please put a like also we will see in our uh, next video next time thank you so much